welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Eva if you're not new here thank you so much for returning it's truly appreciated in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to personalize slash customize a water bottle label for birthday parties etc um, I'm going to be showing you guys how I made this minion themed one for my son's birthday party that's coming up it came out super cute um, so if you're interested in learning how to make these please continue to watch if you learn anything please give this video a like um, subscribe if you want to and let's just get right into the video I'm super excited to show you guys how to make these everything that I use in the video will be linked in the description down below so you can use any water bottles that you want I'm using Ozarka I already removed the label and measured it for you guys it's about 8.3 by 1.3 that's just a rough estimate so let's go ahead and get to designing it so I personally use canva.com to create all of my designs. I'm going to click create a new design here on the top right hand corner. We are going to click custom size and we're going to go ahead and put the size that I told you guys and we're going to change this PX to inches. So the width is going to be 8.3 inches and the height is going to be about 1.3 inches. This is what I measured. Um, so we're going to click create new design here's our template for our water bottle you can design it however you want if it fits in here it's going to fit on your water bottle um, i'm doing this for my son's birthday he loves minions i already typed in minion png on google and i found this image i typed in birthday facts png any image that you use for a project like this it has to be in png form and then you just save it to your computer um, I also found this image and then I went to remove.bg and I removed the background. So I already saved them. So I'm just going to upload them right here using upload media in the top left hand corner. I already saved them to my computer so I have the birthday nutrition facts right here. And then I am going to upload the mini and PNG. So you want to download everything into Canva. And then you can place it wherever you want onto the label here i'm just gonna fix mine up and i will be back so here i am messing around with my design sizing everything how i wanted i even added a picture of my son's face you can change the background color you can add text okay so this is how i fixed mine up all of these were free pngs from google this number three was from canva i just typed in the number three and i use canva for everything very very um helpful highly recommend there's so many free images that you can use or if you pay for the canva pro like me so many options that you can choose from like so now i'm going to go ahead and save this to my computer so we can get them printed and cut out i'm going to click share then i'm going to click download and then you want to save it as a png always now we're going to go into cricut design space and upload this in there and then we're going to get them cut out and see how many fit on a sheet so now we're in Cricut Design Space. We're going to go into a new project. We're going to upload the image that we just saved, what we just designed. Um, we're going to save it as a complex image since we're going to do a print and cut. If you don't know how to do a print and cut, I have another video showing step by step how to do that. So here's our beautiful design. Everything looks so clear. When picking PNGs from Google, you want to make sure that they are good quality so that you get the best results. So when I uploaded it into Design Space, it was not measured correctly. It came out as 13.8, 2.1. I'm not sure why it does that even though I did put the measurements into Canva. So I'm just going to resize it here. For the width, I'm going to put about 8.3. And for the height, I'm going to put 1.3. That was the measurements that I got. So it only allows for that size four to fit on one sheet of paper. So I'm going to go ahead and get these printed out, get them cut out, and then I'm going to show you guys how I apply them to the water bottles. For this, I use sticker paper, waterproof sticker paper, since the water bottles will be getting wet if you're going to put them in a cooler, etc. I highly recommend this sticker paper. It's from Amazon. I'm going to link it in the description down below. This works so well and it dries instantly. It is glossy. They do have matte as well. They both work amazing. So let's get it loaded into the printer. So this is why I highly recommend this sticker paper. As you can tell, it just came off the printer and it dries instantly. I'm not even joking, you guys. It dries so fast, highly recommend. And then of course, I highly recommend my printer. Look at these colors. 
Everything looks amazing. They're gonna look so cute on the water bottles. Let's go ahead and get them cut out now. Okay, now that our image is cut out, we're gonna go ahead and pull off the backing. And then we have our labels right there. I'm gonna use my weeding pen to take them off the mat. It's kind of sticky. I cannot get over how cute these are. I am so obsessed. The ideas are endless. So we're gonna go ahead and get our water bottle. We are going to peel the paper backing off the sticker paper. Um, you don't have to use sticker paper, but it is already waterproof, so you don't have to laminate it or anything like that. So I prefer using this. I'm gonna go ahead and lay it down as straight as possible. Just like that. And then I'm gonna slowly put the label down, make sure there's no air bubbles. And there you have it. Look how cute that is. They would never know it's Ozarka water. Oh my gosh, I love how I added my son's picture for that extra cute touch, you know? Um, so you just repeat the process, take off the paper backing, apply it to the water, and like I said, I love that it's waterproof, so you don't have to worry about laminating or anything like that. And I will do a waterproof test here at the end of the video so you guys can see how truly waterproof these labels and sticker paper really are. So cute, super easy you guys. These are great finishing touches to birthday parties. I cannot wait until everyone sees them. So I wanted to show you guys that this sticker paper is 100% completely waterproof without having to laminate it. This is honestly one of the best sticker papers that I have ever used that is actually waterproof. A lot say they are and they're really not. This one is truly waterproof, so be sure to check it out. Okay guys, so that's my way of personalizing slash customizing water bottle labels. I hope this video was super helpful for you guys. I hope you learned something. If so, please give this video a like, subscribe if you want to, and I will see you guys in the next video. Again, everything that I used for this product will be linked in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.